Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to try to finish off a 12 win grand challenge inside of Clash Royale on my main Chief Pat account, where we are currently 9 and 1 using the Dirty RG deck. Now, this deck has been so much fun for me, even though it pains me to say it as an anti furnace and anti royal giant person in general. It's just so strong of a deck and it feels really good to pull out wins with. I'm going to go ahead and keep playing it to see if we can get 12 wins and maybe get a legendary card inside of our chest. Currently, we're 9 and 1, and if you guys saw the previous previous episode where we uh, had a little bit of a meltdown to get that one loss. It should be 10 and 0 right now, but let's go ahead and continue onward, see if we can pick up those three wins using the deck that I talked about. And I'm still going to be using the fireball and arrows. I've been saying previously, this is the most diverse that spells have ever been inside of Clash Royale. You can use almost any spell and have success inside of the game. So that's why it's pretty fun to be able to try it out uh, inside of a challenge. And let's just go ahead and do that. Let's see if we can pick up win number 10, 11, and 12. And if we don't, and we go down in flames, hey, that's life. Let's go ahead and try it out against Guido right here and see if we can pick up a W. All right, so he's gonna throw a wow out there. All right, there goes an Ice Spirit. So I'm guessing there could be a Hog Rider on the way. Ice Spirit's gonna run down the lane. He's gonna play a Bowler, and that was uh, quite the wait, but I don't have anything I can punish him with, with this Bowler. Like, I literally have nothing. I have this, I've got his Bowler right here. Ooh, I can get some good value right now out of the Musketeer, though. And that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to get a little bit of value out of that Musketeer. My minion's actually going to kill the Musketeer. All in all, not too shabby. And that's why I waited just a little bit on my Fireball to try to get as much value as possible. And uh, that's going to be A-OK. -okay. And we're going to have about 150 HP lead, as well as I think we're leading by maybe an Elixir or two. So things aren't too bad. Fire Spirit's going to start running down the lane. And let's go ahead and prepare to defend against this Giant. But it's pretty clear what type of deck this guy's playing. He's playing Giant, Bowler, Musketeer. He could be playing the Poison Spell. He could be playing three Musketeers. OK, I don't have anything to play. And I was literally just sitting there enjoying myself, listening to myself. So because of that, let's play our Royal Giant in the back, which is terrible. Let's play our Musketeer to help out right here. But we need our Royal Giant to shove the bowler out of the way to make sure our tower doesn't take any damage. And that's what we're going to try to do. All right, Mega Minion's going to die. Royal Giant's starting to run right now. Our, our Musketeer's going to do its best. I've got a Fireball right here that we can use to try to clean up. And with that Fireball, things are going to be fine. There goes the arrow going towards the Musketeer. All in all, we're going to reset a 500 HP lead. And slowly but surely, we're going to keep picking up some damage. But we can't make that one big mistake. Like, I've played this deck a bunch of times. And if you guys play Giant, Bowler, and Musketeer, um, sometimes I get really greedy. And because of that, I make one big mistake that ends up costing me the game. So don't be like me. Don't make that stupid mistake. Don't get too greedy. Just let your Furnace do work. Uh, let whatever card you're doing do work. Ice Spirit, that's going to be fine. And as his giant rumbles down the lane, why not just go for a royal giant on the other side? You know, I just said don't be greedy, and I don't listen to what I say, so let's go ahead and do that. We've got that going down right now. We've got the musketeer onto the royal GG. He's got his musk. That's actually a really nice musketeer placement by him. And now we can play our skeleton army. Our musketeer is going to win that battle, and there go our skeletons against his bowler. Very nicely done, but in the end, we only got damage on the other side of the map, which really doesn't do too much for me. But I'm going to switch up my furnace, and let's see if that forces him to switch sides. It doesn't. He's going to keep running his giant on the other side of the map, and honestly, that's going to be a pretty aggressive play. Because of that, I can play my... Uh, I can play my Royal Giant right here. I've got my Musketeer to help out against his Musketeer. We're making some serious moves right now. There go the Fire Spirits. There goes the Fireball. His Bowler is going to miss, and that has to be a terrible feeling because right now we're going to take that very first tower or at least come extremely close. And now we can go ahead and use our minions. We can get ready with another Furnace if we have to. Let's just keep dragging this Giant around to wherever we want it to go. And that's going to look super good for us. Here comes one last Royal Giant to try to finish off the game. There goes the Royal GG. I've got the log to push back anything in its sights. And we've got the arrows going down. I've got the fireball in my hands. And this should be plenty enough to end it. That's going to be a good game, well played. A very controlled battle. And we ended up bringing him back and forth, back and forth. And the moment that he dropped his Giant on the other side and I dropped my Royal GG on the left side, the game was over. And someone called the cops because the Royal Giant just came out and won a battle. I know you guys don't like me playing the Royal Giant. Don't call the cops on me, though. I don't know if you could hear that background noise. But win number 10. We're 10 and 1 in this challenge. Let's keep grinding it. Let's play divided by zero. And let's see if we can pick up a W. All right. Let's start it off. Now, starting hand, we got a Musketeer. We've got the Royal Giant and the Furnace. So I'll play my Musketeer very first. He's got his Ice Golem, so most likely he's playing a Hog Rider deck. Um, but that's an interesting Ice Golem placement. If he's playing the Hog Rider deck, maybe he just doesn't have anything better to play. So because of that, he's got the Electro Wizard right now. All right, so that's going to be an interesting play. He's got the Electro Wizard going down now. His Ice Spirit really won that battle right there. That's pretty crazy. And here comes an Expo. So let's play our Royal Giant. That's going to be able to kill his Expo. 
and a stop it straight in its tracks. All right, minions are down right now. Arrows are going to kill everything. Royal Giant's going to clean up that expo. We're going to be playing a dirty expo user. You guys know what it is. I mean, I guess I am a dirty Royal Giant user, so I can't say too much about it myself. So there goes the log. And instead of doing anything, I guess I can play my minions, but... I don't have anything good to play. That was pretty stupid. He's, if he has an ice spirit, that's going to kill my minions. Actually, no. That worked out decently. All right. Well, we can switch sides to the other side of the map right now, but we've always got to be concerned about the expo in this deck. And because of that, I'm going to be a little bit hesitant to play offensively because I don't want to get caught by an expo at a bad time. I've got my fireball in my hand to try to get some value out of this elixir collector uh, whenever possible. And I guess I can do that right now. The ice golem isn't a great thing to fireball, but it's better than nothing. There goes his ice spirits. And with his Electro Wizard going down, let's just log everything he's got. And here goes the Electro Wizard. Now, the Electro Wizard's going to be able to do a pretty decent amount of work against me and all my stuff right here. So the Royal Giant's going to try its best to clean up this Expo. I've even got the arrows to help out. Now, the one problem is, with this Ice Golem behind his Ice Wizard, he's going to still get some damage on this tower. So Ice Golem's going to do that. My minions are going to kill that, but... Oh, they actually didn't take any Ice Golem damage, but a simple Ice Spirit should clean up this minion group. And uh, this is a pretty decent stalemate so far. So no one's really making any moves right now. It's 1,700 on basically both of his towers to 2,000 on mine. But as we get into Double Elixir, let's see who's going to be able to do this better. And I'll go ahead and use my Furnace and continue to do this battle. I haven't seen many spells from him just yet. So keep that in mind. And as my Fire Spirits make their way down the lane, there goes another Expo except on defense. And I guess I have to play my... Uh, my Royal Giant, and pray for the best. Now, Expel's gone down. Fire, fireball's gonna go down. We're gonna be able to do some work against that Electro Wizard. Uh, my Log is gonna miss, though. Is it? Nope, we're actually basically, we're gonna barely hit his uh, Electro Wizard. And honestly, this isn't too terrible for me. With that defensive Expo, we're sort of just gonna hang out right here. I'll play my Furnace now. I'll play my uh, Musketeer right now. And now we're sort of fighting against his Expo. He's got an Expo on defense and Expo on offense. This guy is a committed Expo player. I, I definitely gotta give that to him. He's committed to the Expo. I've got my Royal GG to clean up his Expo, though. My tower will clean up his minions. And this game is just a little bit of a stalemate right now, but it's still scary facing off against all these Expos, man. Like, I've got to just hang in there against these Expos. There goes the, the Expo yet again. I've got my minions going down. And with his Electro Wizard, I'm going to Fireball down, try to get as much as possible. But I guess I'm just going to have to sacrifice that damage. I'm not scared about these minions. That was a pretty bad play by him. And taking that Expo damage, this is where I really have to win the game. I have to win the game with this Royal Giant push coming up. So let's see. There goes my Royal Giant. There goes my Musketeer. He needs that Inferno Tower. There it goes. Inferno Tower is going to lock onto the minions, though. So we're doing some really nice work with our uh, Royal Giant. And the Royal Giant's out of range of the Inferno Tower. Royal Giants just keep getting stunned by this Electro Wizard, though. So that's not very fun. And I guess right now, we're just trying to hold on and do our best. Kill that Electro Wizard. All right. So this is, this is pretty tough. I guess we're going to have to just keep fighting against this Inferno Tower. But we're going to lock onto the tower. That's going to be the end of the game. Actually, no, it's not. We didn't We didn't kill the tower right there. Oops. That was pretty bad of us. So we're going to instead take some serious damage. I've got the Musketeer to help out against these minions. Someone kill these minions. This battle's insane. This battle is so stressful. All right. I'm not even talking right now because I am so focused on this battle. That's what happens when you have an intense battle. Good game, well played against a... How many times am I going to have like one HP left on the tower? Well played. And that's going to be win number 11 inside of this challenge. I just zoned in right there. I had so many Expos and so many Electro Wizards flying at my face. The Electro Wizard did so well inside of that battle. Like he used the Electro Wizard to reset the Inferno Tower or reset my Royal Giant to attack the Inferno Tower. That was... That was actually a pretty cool deck from that guy. I got to give it to him. That was a pretty cool deck. Win number 11, one loss, and uh, we have two cracks to make it to 12 wins. Now, I shouldn't say this, but I've never lost a challenge after getting to a level 11 wins. I wanted to tell you guys that right now. I just wanted to throw that out there. I've never lost a challenge after getting to 11 wins. Ever. Ever. So I just want to, I'm going to let that one float. Let that one simmer in. And uh, let's see if we can pick up win number 12 inside of this grand challenge using this deck. Uh, some fascinating decks as we make our way to the top. And our final battle, hopefully, will be against Amir Devil from Iran Esports. Now, who knows what deck this dude's going to play? We've seen absolutely everything. Uh, so I'm going to play my Furnace. He's got a Golem. So I feel like I should be aggressive on somewhere. But, man, I should have really made him pay for that Golem. So instead, I've got a, I've got a Royal GG. 
Royal GG is going to go ahead and lock on. His Musketeer isn't going to go to our Royal Giant, though. So this is completely fine for us. And instead, he's got his minions. I'll kill those. I've got my Skeleton Army coming soon, which is what I have to use. I'm going to log everything right here. And this is actually really bad for us. We're going to take so much damage. That Musketeer is going to destroy us. And things are looking pretty bad inside of this battle. Uh, yeah, that was a really terrible defense. Um, I shouldn't have... Well, I guess I should have just let those arrows kill my Royal Giant. I wish I had my Skeleton Army in real quick. I wish this, I wish that. You know, you gotta roll with the punches. You gotta roll with what you're dealing with. Tower's at 20 HP, and most likely he's gonna go crazy with the Golem in just a second. And this isn't a great Golem killing deck, but I think we should still be fine. So let's prepare with our Furnace and let's see if we can keep pushing our way there. We're gonna at least get two Fire Spirits, or one Fire Spirit to the Tower. It's gonna hit the Golem, which should damage the Tower as well. So there it goes to 900. And 34. I don't have a good counter, so I'm just gonna play my Royal Giant. This is this is sort of turning into what we just did, and that's not really what we uh, what we wanted to do. So there goes there goes that. There goes his elite barbarians. Are you serious? People still play the elite barbarians, bro? Okay. Well, we're gonna lose that tower to the elite barbarians most likely. And with the uh, golemites going down, I guess I'll just take that damage, and we're gonna take some serious damage on our towers. Look at the elite barbarians chop us up. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have mentioned that before uh, battle or win number 12. The uh, Skeleton Army is going to have to deal with those Elite Barbarians, but his deck, his deck is really good against my deck. I got to say that we did damage that other side of the map pretty significantly, but this is going to be, you know, this is going to be an uphill battle for the rest of rest of this match right here. All right, Furnace is going to go down. He can drop his, he can drop anything directly on our Furnace though, so keep that in mind, guys. We can't really do too much in that department. So there goes the Musketeer. Okay, our Musketeer is going to get dropped right on the Skeleton Army. You know, sometimes you just got to swipe up. Sometimes you just got to swipe up, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes the game is not your game. And uh, that's uh, that's this battle right here. And, yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> well guys, you know, all right. Let's just go to the next battle. Let's let's just go to the next one, you know. This one didn't happen. Hey, we're 11 and 2. You know, I still got another shot for glory right there. Hey, good game against Amir. Well played, brother. Well played, well played, well played. All right. Battle number 12. Going for win number 12. I guess this is battle number 14. We're going to be playing Pablito, who is a crazy monkey. Pablito, don't do me wrong. Pablito, you gave me you gave me an interesting starting hand, Pablito. I'm going to start with the Royal Giant. I could have split the Skeleton Army. That was my only other option. Um... What do we want to do against this? What can we even do? I guess I'll fireball everything. Shoot this Mega Minion back a little bit. Get another Royal GG hit or two. But this is where he could have a pretty nasty counter push. But instead, he's got nothing. He's going to hang out. He's got minions on the way. What's going to follow up these minions? I've got my arrows to help out against whatever he may drop. A Balloon Parade. Okay. If he has a free spell, then this is the end of me and Clash of Clans. Nope. Or Cl Clash Royale, not Clash of Clans. What am I doing? I am out of my mind right now. Let me drop my Skeleton Army. Is this about to be a terrible play with the Skeleton Army? No, that was a good play. We got the Fireball for the Skeleton Army. That's pretty good. Okay, now we can chill. Let's chill. Let's play our Furnace in just a moment. We want to play our Furnace upwards because we need to get that Balloon uh, aggroed onto our Furnace. So let's go ahead and play that. But all in all, I think our deck actually does pretty good against his. And let's see what happens. Fire Spirit reached the Tombstone. Very nicely done. That's going to cut out like half of the HP of the Tombstone right there off of that one play. And, and since the uh, Furnace has such a ridiculous amount of time that it stays alive, I think we're looking really good right now. So let's play our Royal Giant. Here comes the Lava Hound. So he's obviously going to play this Lava Loon deck that so many people have been playing. Let's go ahead and get our uh, minions running down the lane. Oh, we've got the uh, the Mega Minions even going to die right there. Very nicely done. And with his Skeleton slowly dying to my Musketeer, that means we should be able to pop this Lava Hound without taking too much damage. And uh, let's arrow down those minions, make sure our Musketeer doesn't die. And what do we want to do from here? I guess I'll play my Skeleton Army since I don't want to take... The Lava Pups do like such a crazy amount of damage, you don't want to take it. And with the Skeletons running down, maybe my Musketeer might get a hit. Nope, it's not going to get a hit. I shouldn't have even logged that. That log was a little bit aggressive. I could have saved two elixir right there if I didn't play the log. So this is going to come down to the end, guys. This is going to come down to the end, like most of these battles do. And let's go ahead and get our furnace ready. He's going to play his Lava Hound. And now it's going to come on to a defense, which is going to be courtesy of the Royal GG, the Musketeer. And let's see if we can make this one happen. All right, there it goes. Fire Spirit's going to go down. This tower is pretty low to zero. I can play my arrows to kill the minions, as well as here comes the balloons. I'm going to play the minions behind 
and looks like the minions actually shove the balloons closer towards my tower which is super good look at the lava uh, pups or the lava hound right now i can go ahead wait i was wasting elixir right there i'm so bad at this game i'm so bad at this game i'm so bad at this game guys just remember that i'm so bad at this game terrible royal giant his lava hound's gonna keep making its way down the lane come on arrows predict the come on arrows do something Ugh, i tried to fireball everything this is not working out how we wanted to. Arrows, minions are going to go down right now. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Drag this balloon farther. Drag this balloon farther. Drag that balloon. Get that balloon out of my face. That balloon better die. That balloon better die. Are you serious? 